Hey guys, Nicole here from Obscure Reptiles and Caging and today I'm going to be showing you my bug-eyed boa. So let's get started. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you and telling you a little bit about my bug-eyed boa, what that is, uh, for any of you guys who don't know, and giving you guys a little bit of information about a boa. Um, we're going to do an entire care guide specifically for boas and even a breeding guide one day on boas as well that's in the works, but I just wanted to show you guys my bug-eyed boa and how she's doing. For those of you who do not know, a bug-eyed boa is when a albino, specifically an albino boa, has enlarged eyes when they're born. Um, I've actually talked to the breeder I got her from. We're going to talk more about him in a little bit. And he actually sent me over some photos so I can show you guys what it looks like when they're babies more. But I have, I took her outside and did a couple of close-ups so you guys could hopefully see her better. But let's see if I can show you guys. Basically, sometimes when you breed albino boas, it can happen for any type of pairing. Whether you breed a het to het or at, like for example albino to a het, you can still get babies like this, but it's always recommended when you breed boas specifically to not breed visual to visual. So you wouldn't breed a, a, a visual like her to another visual like her with or without the bug eyes because it's known to produce more bug eyes and there's a higher chance of getting more babies like this. So when this girl was born, both of her eyes were like, let's say four or five times the size that they should be. And when babies are born like that, because these guys are live births, not from an egg, it, they're gonna need a little bit more care. And the reason I wanna show you guys and tell you guys about this is because if you do plan to breed ever one day, you need to know that this is always a possibility when you breed animals. Whether you're breeding ball pythons and you can come across babies that end up with kinks or missing eyes or you breed boas and you can get things like this. I just want everyone to know all the different possibilities and if it does happen, you do get babies like this, they can thrive and they can be good pet animals. Jason was nice enough to send some photos. Here are some pictures of baby bug-eyed boas. So when they come out, they look like this and throughout the first couple of days to the first couple of weeks before their first shed and after their eyes can continue to grow. Unfortunately it's it's pretty bad because sometimes the animal the eye can pop out sometimes the eye will burst and it's normally pretty gross and it, it's it's a very sad thing to see but luckily like for example they can have one eye missing or they can have two eyes missing she had both of her eyes had the bug eye if they have just one eye missing a lot of time they're going to thrive and they're going to be perfectly fine animals they're not going to have any issues eating or anything like that unfortunately when they have both eyes missing it's completely up to the animal if they're going to thrive because sometimes these guys just won't eat it's very difficult to get them eating and other than assist feeding and stuff like that there's just really not much that you can do other than that a lot of people think that if you have babies with bug eyes then you have to automatically get rid of them or euthanize them or things like that so she was actually on another video one of jason's his uh pages J jason's exotic reptiles she put her in a video uh when she was younger uh, showing how good these animals can thrive and how good they can be because according to him she never missed a meal and I completely completely believe that because she never I don't think she's ever missed a meal and the hardest thing that I would say about having a uh, blind boa is I don't know when she's gonna shed. Actually these video clips of her outside that I got the other day she was completely in shed and I didn't know until I got her in and when I went to take her and I because I soaked her a little bit her shoes started to shed as I picked her up so that's really the hardest thing I'd say, but she even in shed, she doesn't stop her, doesn't stop her from feeding, uh, but she is, I got her because I've always wanted um, some nice educational pets so I could do videos like this and just so I can have cool animals to show people. I made the, his other video about her, a lot of people said that, you know, they should be euthanized, stuff like that, but I completely disagree because as you can see, you can even go back and see his video, I can link that below also or put it in the comments, that she's grown a lot. I've only had her, we can say maybe eight months, somewhere around there. I can go back and double check, but she's grown perfectly. She's got really nice body tone. She's got very, a very muscular body. She's um, not overweight. She doesn't, you know, she's not skinny. She doesn't miss any meals. 
and she's obviously, as you can see, a very friendly snake. And I don't handle her, you know, crazy. I probably take her out every two weeks and I give her a good handle like this, but I don't, I, I don't really like overhandling my animals. I feel like it stresses them out. But as you can see, she's a perfectly fine snake. She's never struck at me. She doesn't hiss. Uh, she's a little spazzy when you first take her out, but most boas are. So, uh, just a couple of facts about boas, in case you guys are interested. You can get boas like this, especially from reputable breeders, and they have them eating and thriving. But keep in mind that this is not something you want to breed for. So make sure if you are going to breed, stay away from a visual to visual and go visual to het or het to het. It's the best way. These animals can happen still, but it's less likely. You can go over to his video. He really goes in depth on... Uh, breeding. I just think she's a really cool pet. I only really focus on the ball pythons, ackies, and dragons. Both of her eyes, they both look different, and I'll try to get good footage of both of them for you, but her pupils still move back and forth. She has um, use of the eye, but she can't see through either eye, and they both look different. So when I first got her, her eyes almost looked like scabs. The thumbnail, when she's in the pictures on the thumbnail, you can see her eyes look different. So it takes quite a few sheds for that scab to basically come off or for their eyes to fully heal. She can still grow to a normal size. She's not stunted, anything like that, especially with her really good food response. Keep in mind if you want a friendly, larger reptile, the boas are a very good way to go. They can get 10 foot. You're normally, females do get larger, but that's, it takes quite a while for boas to grow, and if you breed them, it, it slows down their growth rate a little bit. But they can get very big, they can get 50, 60 pounds, so they will be very large. So make sure you have that in mind. They're not just going to be this cute little boa forever. They're going to be very large, which means they're going to need a large cage, and you're going to have to give them larger meals. They're not like ball pythons. They don't eat every seven, five or seven days. When these guys are huge, you're not going to feed them very often. It's every like two, three, or four weeks, depending on how large of a meal you're feeding them. And also keep in mind, you're going to need things like if you have an, a very large female, you're going to have to do things like guinea pigs, frozen thawed, of course, smaller rabbits, if you can't get your hand on very large rats, uh, all those kind of things. These guys are like garbage disposals, so it's very good to do them on frozen thawed, especially since the meal and the prey size is going to be so large. It's a very good idea to keep them on frozen thawed. And these guys are a really long commitment. They can live 20 to 30 years in captivity. So this is a very large animal with a very long lifespan. So keep that in mind. If Don't look at this video and see, oh cool, I want a blind snake and go out and get some. Basically, especially when they're small like this, their, their care is very similar to ball pythons hide, water dish, their humidity is a little bit higher and their temperature is a little bit cooler. They're like a 90 to 92 hot spot. Their cool side has to be 80. Don't let it go below, like don't go 75, 76. That's too cold for these guys. They can get upper respiratory infections, especially when they're larger because they do need um, a higher humidity. So if you drop the temperatures too low, too high of a humidity, that's how you can get a sick animal. So you just gotta be really careful of that. But all in all, they're great animals. She's a really cool display animal. She's a really good educational animal. That's why I got her specifically. But I just wanted to show you guys that these guys can thrive. They can be perfectly fine and healthy, happy animals. When they're first born, it's kind of touch and go. It depends all on the animal, all on the care. And her colors are amazing. So I'm really glad. She's a really, really good animal. And if anyone's ever looking for a normal boa, not specifically a bug eye, but a, a normal animal or something like that. Go check out Jason. He's got a website and he's got a YouTube channel too. And I'll link both of those below for you guys. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Right now, our giveaway has already finished up for that lesser ball python. By the time this comes out, we'll already have announced the winner. So congrats to whoever won. But we will be doing more giveaways. So keep an eye on the page. We're going to do videos every single Wednesday. And we've got a whole bunch of really good videos lined up and a lot of breeding type videos. So step by step, how to breed ball pythons, bearded dragons, one day boa constrictor, stuff like that. So keep an eye on the channel and we'll see you in the next one.